Hey guys, welcome back to Manikaro Custom Guitars. And this is the CNC Guitar Build Season 2, where I show you my process from design to manufacturing an electric guitar. Just before I dive in into the tool pads of the body blank, I wanted to address a request that I had a couple of weeks ago. One of my subscribers, Matthew Cohen, ask me if I can go into details about doing my contours on the body shape. So in this episode, I wanted to do a quick one showing how I manage to achieve these kind of contours. So guys, let's roll the intro and we can begin. Hey guys, welcome back to Fusion 360 and in front of you, you're looking at the 3D model of the Odin guitar body. Now, what I believe Matthew was referring to was these kind of contours at the horns of the body. Well, at least I hope he was referring to those. If not, maybe if he's watching this episode, he can drop a comment specifying in details his request. But today I want to cover this kind of um, contours and if you're new to Fusion sometimes these kind of uh, designs are not really that easy to do. I learned Fusion on my own by trial and error and when it, came, when it, when it comes to doing this kind of uh, carving, this kind of contour well I, I did mo like most of you would do. I, go, I went on YouTube and searched for this kind of tutorial and I found a lot of tutorials that use uh, form form that they create with, with form and this was quite intimidating at first so if I'm going to create a plane that I can work I select the top of the guitar body like so create my my plane now these faces and width it determines how many small faces are going into this plane so sometimes I like to exaggerate and now there should be you see 50 faces these are all different faces, which then they can be modified. For example, like so, if you select this face and go on modify, you see you can modify the face and create various design. In the beginning, I was mostly experimenting like this until I got a certain level of frustration and I abandoned everything. Now, later, I took some time and thought about what I could do differently. And what it came to me was actually quite simple actually, to cut, to remove this material with another design. What I mean. Let me turn on the sketches. Here I have this sketch. Uh, this is a simple sketch, nothing really important. Now the sketch, I copied it and pasted it using the point to point. For example, if I'm going to move this. I select point to point this point with this point this is if I turn off the body this is the contour of my body I pasted it on this point and what I did I create a sweep operation using this sketch this profile as the primary profile 
and the pet, I chose this profile here. Now to be exact, to get this little bit as well, I had to choose all of the profile. But at this edge, it won't uh, remove material because there isn't material here. And then just hit OK. And it will, and it will remove uh, the material for you. Then what I did to get a smoother transition, let me turn off the sketches to give a better view. See, there's a harsh angle here. I just went with a fillet operation, choosing that angle, and then I just made it so it is what I'm looking for. And hit OK. Well, change color because it changed everything from the beginning. If we go back and undo what we did, you see, this was as it was before, as I did it in the first time. On the other side, basically, it's the same. What I did when I pasted the, this profile on that point, I just turned it at an angle, so it will be mostly perpendicular to this line. And then, again, a sweep operation with this profile as the primary and this contour as the pet. And most important, obviously, when you're removing material, Fusion 360 would automatically be, will set up a cut operation rather than joining or a new body. And that's how I achieved this kind of contours on this body. Now, the back part, if you're interested as well, this back side is, was even easier than the, than the horns. Basically what I did, first of all, I extruded the body to the actual thickness, selecting all of the uh, profile. Then what I did, I just extruded this lower part only, minus 20 mil, so it's a cut operation. And then I did a fillet operation, selecting that edge, and this creates, if I don't overdo it, and it creates a nice round edge. You can as well draw the profile as I did like this and move it along that edge and then with the sweep operation it will cut the remaining material. Now this is another build that I did a couple of years ago, actually it was a commissioned build and this features a nice carved top like kind of a mix between a Les Paul and the PRS carve. And kind of carve, I did it with the same um, technique. So basically what I did, I drew my profile. Here you can see I was trying two different um, profiles. This was the one that I found suitable for the well, for my client at that time. And following this path, I just created a sweep operation. Like so. And it will remove that material, leaving that contour on the top. Here I have another example of the same technique. Here I'm doing uh, an elbow carve, 
and I drew this line where I want the curve to start and perpendicular to that line I drew this uh, profile and then what I did instead this time of a sweep operation it was an extruding operation but it was asymmetric so when I oops so when I'm extruding outwards the other side is extruding as well and it's cutting the material that I want to remove and like this I have a simple elbow curve so guys that's it for today I hope you liked it enjoyed it and learned something from it if you have any more questions or requests please leave them down in the comment section down below I will do my best to answer them in the next episode if you're new to my channel and you're enjoying what you see, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll be aware about my future releases. And to my subscribers and to the new ones, take care and goodbye.